It's a huge game today, folks. It is for all the marbles. An MIAA championship for Trine. They have never had one for Adrian. They've gone since 1997. The top two teams in the conference, and it will all be drawn out today. We'll see exactly who is going to earn that bid. Four wide receivers for the first time with Eric Watt from the shotgun. Gets the snap, zone read. Takes it himself to the 40, left hash 45. Watt to midfield, dragging players past the 45-yard line, all the way down, and is thrown onto his stomach at the 41. A blustery win here today is going to make field goal kicking very, very difficult as the Thunder go for it on fourth down. Trying this year first in the league and tenth in the nation in fourth down conversions. Fourth down and about one from the 19-yard line of Adrian first possession, middle of the field. Under center, Eric Watt, bootleg, rolling out to the left, looking to throw. At the five-yard line is Hershey, and it is incomplete. Just knocked away at the very last second by the safety, Brad Smagala. No score, 11-18 left here, second quarter. Second down and four from the 34-yard line of Adrian. Bootleg out to throw as Eric Watt. Sheds the tackle, has a first down 30, 25. Eric Watt to the 20, right sideline 15. Eric Watt knocked out by the shoulder pads at the 11-yard line, moving his way into the red zone and gaining 23 more. They're going for it. Fourth down and goal from the one-yard line. This Bulldog fan face is absolutely fired up. Power package, split backs in the backfield. Eric Watt is under center. Double tight end set with the Mark Walls wide to the right. Eric Watt is under center. Wyman in motion from right to left. Fourth down and goal from the one. Faking the draw. Throwing out to the left side. Into the end zone to Troy Hershey. And it's incomplete. And the front have come up absolutely empty. Second down and nine for their own two. Running to the left side is Troy Niblock. Into the end zone. Thrown down by Tad McNally. And no indication yet. Now it's a safety. The Thunder out of safety on the left side as Tad McNally went into the chest of the athletic Troy Niblock, stood him up, rode him back eight yards, threw him down on his back, trying to Adrian nothing. One second left here in the second quarter. A 35-yard effort from Howard from the left half. Snap is down. Kick is up. It's deep enough. Is it accurate enough? No good. Just pushed it wide to the right. Howard comes up empty here on the last play before halftime. Has some Division I interest. He's in the backfield along with Mike McGee. Trying leaves a 2 to nothing early action here in the third quarter. Second down and nine for their own 31. Stevie Freeman in motion from right to left as they hand it off directly up the middle again to Edwards, and the ball comes loose at the 30-yard line. No indication yet, and the Thunder have recovered. Eric Watt under beautiful, sunny, shining skies in the backfield, and that's a fumble on the toss sweep to the left side. Absolutely plastered down was Jeff Langley, but the Thunder appear to come up with recovery, and they do. Two to nothing trying. 10.58 remaining in the third quarter. Watt from the shotgun with three wide receivers to the left and one to the right. Inside draw, Jeff Langley has some room to pass the 35-yard line and loses the ball again at the 38-yard line. The fumble comes loose as they're unscrambling the pile. The referee's still looking, and they have not made an indication yet. Adrian says it's their ball, and it is. Right, huge play in this ball game. Third down and four. Shotgun staff to McGee, three-step drop. Flush in the pocket, Tad McNally with a sack in the backfield at the 32. And Tad McNally, folks, is showing some athleticism today, bursting upon the scene. It is a 45-yard effort from the right half. The Thunder lead at 2 to nothing with 6.50 remaining here in the third quarter. Warner this year 5 for 8, but as long as only 32 yards. Ball is laid down. The kick is up, and it is no good. Short and way wide to the right. One wide receiver, Freeman to the left. First down and 10 for their own 35-yard line. Play fake, back to throw. In trouble is McGee, and he is sacked in the backfield. Back of the 36-yard line, Christian Verley for the Thunder with a sack. Two wides each side, play fake. McGee back to throw. Feeling pressure, and it's a fumble. In the backfield, still on the ground, and who has it? 35-yard line. Referees trying to unfurl this pile. Another fumble here in the third quarter, and whose ball is it? It is trying football. Eric Watt, the sophomore, is under center. Play fake, Watt back to throw. Now he'll run to the 40, the 35. Sees a block, he's at the 30. The 25-yard line as he slams his face forward near the 25, and he is very, very close to a trying first down. Off the left hash, and he has it. First down for the Thunder. 
players on both teams holding up the four fingers to signify the fourth quarter coming up. We will have 15 minutes, folks, to determine who will win the MIAA title and who will go to the NCAA playoffs. After three, trying two, Adrian Nuff. Two to nothing trying. Early action, fourth quarter, second down and eight from the Bulldog 10. Iroquois from the shotgun, four wide receivers to each side, receives a snap, lost it into the end zone, left side, incomplete, knocked down, looking on the fade pattern to Lamar Qualls on the left side. 26-yard attempt by Jeremy Howard from the right hash, has missed a 35-yarder today. Trine leaves it two to nothing with 13-22 left. Snap down, it's a bad snap, they'll pick it up. Nate Fitzsimmons rolling out to the right side, throws it across his body, incomplete in the end zone. A bad snap, and the Thunder again are denied points inside the red zone. 12.34 left in this ballgame. Ball from the right hash from the shotgun is Troy Niblock rushing out to the left side. In trouble, Niblock got out of the end zone, and he's at the one-yard line before spun down by Courtney Pearson, and the Thunder almost had another safety. First down and 10 for the own four. The Thunder lead at two to nothing here, middle of the fourth quarter. Shotgun snap, back to throw as McGee has time. Lofts it deep, left side, and it is almost picked by Trine. And did he pick it off? Yes, he did. Intercepted by Ryan Rickaby as he fell down at the 39 yard line. Rickaby hit that ball into the air, fell down to the seat of his pants, and had the ball land directly into his lap. Wide receiver to left, Biller in motion, left to right, faking the sweep, rolling out, right side is there, Quad throws it, ends on right side, touchdown tried! Diving play by Paul Curtis, five yards deep into the end zone to the right side, and folks, that is the big play that Matt Land talked about in the pregame show. Using his agility right side to roll out, out of pressure was Eric Watt. Slung it into the diving stomach of Paul Curtis. The Thunder lead this ball game, 8-0. Two tight ends, one wide receiver is Jackson Hanks. He's actually their fullback. Toss sweep right side to Johnson. Tries to hit the corner, cannot get there. Ryan Rickaby blew it up in the backfield for the Thunder. Third down and goal from the six yard line. The Thunder lead at nine to nothing with three minutes left in this championship ball game. Under center is Niblock, play fake. Rolls to the left, Troy stops in the backfield in deep trouble and he is thrown down for the sack of the 25 yard line. The Thunder corral the athletic Niblock. A 41 yard attempt for Warner who's made five this year. Here comes the snap, it's a high snap, gets it down, the kick is off, and it is no good wide left. The Thunder have held, and they lead it 9 nothing with 2.36 to go in this championship. And try and get it all, folks. Face those obstacles and surmounted them today. Coming up with a win as Eric Watt goes down to a knee for the final time. And folks, the MIAA championship belongs to the Trine Thunder. Yeah, obviously, congratulations to this team, obviously. The team's going to storm the field and uh, getting a little bit of a uh, well, love from Coach Abs here on the coach's back box next to us, and, and obviously, Trine, congratulations. The Thunder have done it. As time runs out, the fans spill onto the field, led by Laura Hefner and the Blue Crew. Everybody celebrating at the 35-yard line. The Thunder have done it, folks. MIAA champions. They're headed to the NCAA tournament, defeating Adrian today at home, 9-0. And the championship belongs to the Thunder. Everybody celebrating on this. Players, fans, coaches spilling onto the field. The Thunder, nine wins this year. That is the most to start a season since all the way back in 1998. They have now won 11 games in a row for this university. That is the biggest streak in school history, eclipsing the mark set back in 1998 and 1999.